I don't even want to do it. <laughs> the way I talk to kids is like, oh, you know. <laughs> Houston, Texas. Yeah, love it. Not really. I'm never going back. But I love Texas. But not Houston. But that's where I'm from. Um, is that even a question? Katie, hit me up. I don't need to make weird faces because the way I talk to children is like I'm a cartoon and they're a cartoon and we live in a cartoon world. If you're not baby talking kids or pets, you don't have a soul. I would like to meet my great great grandkids to see if like Christian upbringing is still around like three generations from now. I pray it is. It's not really in my control anyways, but I'd like to know. Oh my gosh, y'all, I had the craziest high school experience. Super abnormal. First off, I graduated when I was 16, but even before then, I went into high school when I was 13, and I went to a high school with like 200 kids. It was like an early college prep high school, which is funny, because I didn't go to college. Um, and Quest was freaking weird, but it's cool because I was weird too, but we were all just weird kids. I, I can't speak further on that. I don't know how I would even continue, but we were weird. If you're a Questy, you know what I'm talking about. Um, I think obey the laws that Jesus gave in the New Testament for the New Covenant. And that's the shortest way I could explain that. It's funny, we literally just learned about this like the past two Sundays. So Jesus came to fulfill the law, but has not done away with the law because we are under Jesus' law now. So there's that. Hmm, pricey. What does that mean? I don't know. I like thing to am I. I am bought with a price. So yes. Um, this could be a whole vlog in itself. I'm sure of my calling to serve God because that is his revealed will that all Christians serve him. And I've been given the gift amongst others because we all all have gifts that the Holy Spirit gives us, and I can sing. I don't know if singing is a gift or a talent, but because I'm called to serve and that's how I can serve, I think I should do it. So I'm gonna give it to you back to back. No, it's not my favorite line. Um, little white girl with the big dreams, wash like snow on my sink clean, still in the shame that you with me. Honestly, if you were to ask me, Roman and God, we'd probably all give you different answers. <laughs> Because I don't know when God's going to make it happen. I can tell you when I want it. 30. But Roman is not liking that number. So I don't know. I literally like don't think about having kids. So I have no idea. I don't know. Ooh! That's a hard one. Just remembering that I am unique and you are unique and she is unique and he is unique. Like we're just different people. So it's like be yourself because if God wanted you to be that person, he would have made you that person. So yeah, I deal with that with my voice, my singing voice all the time, but I'm cool with it. <laughs> Thank you. Which one? <laughs> Which one? <laughs> Wait, am I even showing it? Oh, wow, it's not even on that arm. <laughs> Which one? I would love to. New York City is like my favorite city in the world. I wish I could live there um, on a penthouse suite where like the rooftop had grass and there was like a yard so you could have like the best of both worlds because I want dogs. Have someone go over your sermon with you and practice preaching it. I know whenever Roman preached for the first few times he um, preached his sermon to the pastors so that they could one, make sure it's biblical, two, make sure he's handling the text well, and three, just critique him on his, like how he's doing it so that he can do it more effectively. So I would say do it for your pastors and have them critique you and help you and just practice like a lot. <sighs> I eat so many pickles. I love pickles. Like you don't understand, you don't understand. You don't understand. Pickles are life. You're really just trying to drop it on me like that? In the question box in my stories, Victor. It's okay, he's my friend. It depends on your definition of free will. So once you have a good definition of free will and a good definition of sovereignty, I think it'll work itself out. Honestly, it's real crazy, guys. It's real crazy. 
Um, I would say learning who God says that God is, not who Christian people say that God is, because half of the things I believed about God was not even true, or it was a half truth. And so I think taking everything that everyone tells you about God and putting it under a microscope according to scripture is really important. Because when you have a good view of who God is, a correct biblical view, your whole life changes. Like, your life changes. Y'all, I was depressed for years, and a lot of that was I didn't have a good biblical view of who God was. So, that changed my life. Yeah, when we were younger, we were just broke, and we were just bored, so like at midnight, 1 a.m., we would go like climb on top of tall buildings. Yeah, we wouldn't like jump across them. Like we weren't on this like crazy YouTube stuff people are doing now, like hanging off the, no, none of that. We would just climb on top of the building and climb down. But they were like big buildings, like malls or schools. So yeah, we did that. So here's the thing, all right. Uh, we as human beings can conjure up feelings all day long. If I wanna be sad and start crying right now, give me about 30 seconds and I can do it. So even unbelievers can feel God by their side. I would say faith is most important because with real faith is real salvation and then you really do have God by your side in a special way that nobody does. So definitely faith. Girl, my middle name used to be depression and that's something that I feel like I will always battle with my entire life. I'm very prone to that. But whenever I'm strong in my faith, and I'm strong in community, and I'm strong in my communion with the Lord, my relationship with the Lord, it's very minimal. But yeah, that could be a whole vlog on its own, cause like, yeah. I used to be on depression pills and all of that. So the thing is, in Deja Vu I was rapping hardcore, or not sing rapping. There might've been a part where I was sing rapping, but a lot of it was just rapping. So I don't know what you mean, so. That's it. Uh, if you have not subscribed already, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell to be notified when I post a video. Okay, bye.